The talking claw. The talking what? That's right. You heard Bush. The talking clock. A clock that can speak the time. Wow. A talking clock. What a useful invention. Let's take a look inside. All right. Right here is a button. Um, this is going to be used to control our um, our speaker clock. Um, here is the DS1307, which is a piece, which is the main piece in our project because this is essentially the digital clock. Um, this connects to the breadboard as well. Um, and here is a speaker. Um, this speaker is going to output the the sound of the voice saying the time. Um, and then here is an Arduino board red board and here's our breadboard. I already have this set up here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the button in which belongs right here. I push that in and then put in the DS1307. Um, the connections are quite simple. Um, here um, it actually tells you on the DS1307 if you could zoom in right, right here. Um, it tells you where each piece needs to be connected. So starting starting from the bottom, it says 5V. So we made sure that that connection, the line of that connection goes to the output that goes to the 5V. Um, the next one at, um, tells you to input it to a ground. So I made sure that the output here that comes from the lining it up straight goes to the last, the negative section, which is connected to the ground. Um, from here, um, you connect these last two pieces to um, a5 and A4 in the analog input area um, on the red board. Then going over here to the button. Um, this button part, the far right piece, has to be connected to has to be connected to the ground. So it's on the far side, and then this one has to be connected to the number two input on the red board. And then from here on the speaker, if you can zoom out a little bit, um, the speaker has to be connected to the third num number three on the red board and the other piece has to be connected to a ground so that's why it's in a negative lined up in the negative section of the ground. So one of the elements of our talking clock is the speaker and the speaker has many really different underlying physics principles. So the speaker is essentially an electromagnet which has a coil, a cone, and a permanent magnet. And also um, since we have our clock speaking that goes along with another physics principle of frequency yeah. governing pitch. Good morning. The time is 11.36 a.m. Ever since buying the talking clock, my life is so much better. Thanks, Summer and JT. We decided to do a talking clock because we wanted to help the poor woman that you saw in the first scene. We believe that if we create devices that help the handicapped, that we can help everyone stay in sync with the world. Um, we also wanted to learn more about our, the Arduino program and the different libraries that are needed in order to make such a device.